Good morning, church. For those of you who don't yet know me, my name is Natasha, and my home church is based in Audacious Central. Thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak a word of blessing into your lives this morning. Um, I was very privileged to have been able to experience the journey and story of the Rwandan people during our missions trip in May this year. I was deeply humbled by the God-given privilege of serving the community in Chapatanzi alongside my husband, Jonathan, in ministering the love of Jesus by means of catering for their basic health needs. I remembered in the days leading up to my trip, I was questioning a lot about, you know, what can I bring or do or perhaps even say in order to bless this community. And deep down, perhaps, I was secretly hoping that by praying more into it, somehow a list will come to mind and I will be all set for this trip. But as things will have it, this didn't happen. And before I knew it, I was already in Rwanda. And in my time spent serving the community in Chabatanzi, I witnessed how the good news message of Jesus Christ really very radically transformed lives. I was deeply encouraged by their complete devotion and love for Jesus. And these people were, church for me, a perfect example of you know, what it means that following Jesus cannot simply be defined by a list of rules. It was also perhaps this subtle quality of life within Chabatanzi that was difficult to quantify, but perhaps best described as beautiful. And it reminded me of what Jesus spoke about the Beatitudes, which can be found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3 to 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For these people, their circumstances had not deterred them, but rather, very unashamedly, strengthened their resolve to take up the cross to follow Christ. So church, let me leave you with a couple of points to reflect on this morning. Firstly, what does it mean for us to seek the Lord and experience His blessing and promises for our lives beyond our immediate physical needs? Secondly, are there areas in our lives which we should commit and surrender to the Lord? Or even how do we hear from God to experience the promised blessing and joy? Lastly, let me also leave you with a quote which I stumbled upon when I went out visiting one of the villagers' homes. It said, Imana nyurukunde izi biose. God is love. He knows everything. Itango biose, iriba biose. He provides and he sees everything. And this, for me, church, was a different kind of blessing that I had the very privilege of experiencing. Have a blessed day, church. Bye.